Hello everyone, it's Clay Ramage. Welcome to my channel. And uh, it's a beautiful day in Minnesota today. That's all I've got to say, especially for October. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day. It's going to be about 70 something, 75, 77 today. And so my office is warming up because it's a nice southern facing windows. So it's nice and toasty warm in here. But anyway, um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. We do a lot of haul videos on here. Some do it yourself and other miscellaneous things, but mostly haul videos. One of these days I'll figure out how to do the thrift with me and, and uh, type videos where you film and shop at the same time. I'm a one talent person. I can only do one thing at a time, at least halfway well. So that's what I do. But well, welcome if you're new. Thank you again to all you new subscribers. Um, welcome and let's head off on this fun journey. Thank you to all my um, long-term subscribers who've been with me from the beginning and have supported me through lots of great comments and encouragements and buying some stuff from me even, which is awesome. So a lot of what we do is we pick up stuff for resale. I resell on eBay. I also do some local stuff on Facebook Marketplace. And I have a booth down at the uh, Pink Elephant in downtown Hopkins, Minnesota, where I sell other goods. And uh, so let's just get into it. Today, my wife and I went into, went into, we did go into the uh, Goodwill Outlet bins, but uh, we went shopping and found a hodgepodge of stuff, I will call it. A whole bunch of eclectic mix. And here's what I'm going to say is the start of the eclectic mix is this handkerchief. Um, in this box, still brand new in the box, and it says, The Keepsake Mother of the Bride Handkerchief, a treasure for years to come. So, <laughs> this was something you give the mother of the bride as a gift. And uh, it's copyrighted 1994, so it'd be considered vintage. I don't know why I picked it up. I guess it was a hanky and I had to pick it up. I'm not really sure. Another bag, Ziploc baggie, that I picked up that I thought was hankies, turned out to be either doll furniture or furniture, doll outfits, um, or this is a baptismal outfit for a baby, one or the other, christening, however you want to say it. Um, so yeah, so this was in there, in this baggie. There was this little outfit, which is definitely more doll-like, and these little shorts, which is doll-like. So I think they were really all doll furniture did pick up some bubble wrap shipping supplies gotta have shipping supplies and speaking of dolls picked up this vintage doll she's 1974 this is um a holly hobby doll although it doesn't look like holly hobby because she doesn't have her clothes on but if she was dressed in her holly hobby clothes you would notice it is a holly hobby style doll it is marked on the back um Knickerbocker Toy Company, 1974, American Greetings Corp. So, so yeah, so I picked her up. <laughs> Don't ignore, do much with dolls. Speaking of dolls, troll doll. That's right, I have a whole bin full that I'm selling for my mother-in-law. So I thought, oh, here's a little troll doll I'll throw in with the mix. See what we come up with. And it was kind of fun because for probably close to a month now. I haven't been able to find any jewelry in the bins, but guess what? We found jewelry today. So that was pretty cool. Most of it is just, you know, a lot of, of um, costume jewelry. There's like this stone nugget type thing on the end of a gold chain with a gold feather and a pom-pom. Some other necklaces. Things like that, a few bracelets, some of them still with their tags still on them, made in China. So nothing spectacular, except for I found two sterling silver rings. They are marked 925 in the stamped inside. This one has a bunch of different symbols on it, and then it says dreams on the inside in 925. And this one has a bunch of rhinestones, colored rhinestones in it as well. So, so I'm building up my little lot of jewelry the last batch i did to a 10 pound lot and sold that for 50 dollars on facebook marketplace because i didn't have to deal with shipping so sold that right away when i listed it um the more precious metals i have another guy that i sell to and uh, i gave him a call and he's going to be coming soon to look at my next batch that i have um so he buys a lot of gold sterling silver and antique jewelry um so he'll look through what i have I don't know why I got this. 
again sometimes I just pick things up because I pick them up it's a vintage you know wall switch plate still in the package but somebody's taped it up um, so, but the screws are still in there still in their original package so it was never really used somebody just cut it apart for some reason like I say it was an eclectic mix today um, another thing I found was this vintage purse it is leather and it's got a unique clasp to it opens up not very far but it's teak ore and it's made in the USA genuine leather and that's kind of why I grabbed it because it's genuine leather on the outside which it does have a few marks on the bottom which can easily be cleaned but it's got the suede and then the regular leather and the gold trimmed exterior which some of the gold is having some issues I don't know if that'll polish out I don't think so I think it's a little bit of metal fatigue there or plating fatigue Oh, there's such a mix. I don't know what to do next. All right, so my wife got a frying pan. She wanted a little one. We found this one. It's a tea fall um, made in France. So that's for making the little one egg omelets, stuff like that. I We found another handful of embroidery floss. I just sold the last batch I had that we found at the bins. Again, it costs hardly anything. I just pile them up until I get a lot of 100 or so and and away we go. And I sell them consistently within a couple days of listing them. So it's good money, consistent money, and they're inexpensive to buy those. Did find some more iron-on transfers. There's a Noah's Ark one. Oh, antique car one. I might keep that one. I might keep all of them. I don't know. And this one is probably the oldest. Um, these are the week daily linens. Like for your kitchen linens, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, with different kinds of butterflies on it. So found three of those. And that's for the ladies. And then for the guys. And that's right. I found a pair of Timken. Not a pair. I found a Timken ball bearing. Um, this is a tapered roller ball bearing. Um, particularly, this is used in on like of trailers, small trailers. So. This one is a vintage one. These are made in England. Um, manufactured with castings made in Australia, Brazil, Canada, England, France, and South Africa and the USA. So actually, I don't know really where, where these were made. That's a lot of different companies or countries. So anyway, that's a good little, again, that's like a $10 item. It's not anything pricey. Um, the other thing we found three vintage camera flashes and these are always hit and miss they're not big dollar items this is one there's another one a yashica and then there was this one which is a hilux so um you know these are five to ten dollars each again i pick these up and i lock them together and sell them as a lot. I paid 99 cents each because they were considered electronics and they're getting really strict now at the Goodwill outlet bins I'm at because anything you can drink out of they consider glassware. So even plastic cups or anything like that rather than weighing them which would be cheaper they're making you pay 49 cents for. So I don't know. But anyway attached to one of the flashes was this. This is an adapter um, for a tripod and this is a Bylora made in Germany and so this is like ten dollars so I took it off the flash so um, so yeah so sometimes the parts attached to pieces are worth more than the piece itself you just never know but in this case I always look for these extra parts and uh, take them off and sell them separate if they turn out to be more valuable um on another chopper this is for us we're going to keep that one i found more bubble wrap this very large mug it's a hadley collection mug from well their artwork is from 1991 but the mug design is from from 2004 so it's a terry redland piece you know snow scene country cabin um and it does say Terry Redlin on the inside, even though it doesn't say it on the outside. 
and there are some spoon marks in the bottom so I'll see about getting those out and I just noticed it's got a huge crack huh so well I guess that'll go for something don't know what but something um picked up some Christmas bags and we picked up a bunch of Christmas boxes those I didn't bring over here to show picked up some cupcake paper a little tiny copper frog flower frog um yeah, I've just never seen them in copper very often. A slide rule for the scientific ones. When I used to work at the um, college bookstore many, many moons ago, I used to sell these um, along with the art supplies that I sold. And then this poor lady found this doll. You can tell she has that 1920s look to her. And then her her arms were attached and the thread's pretty brittle so it broke when I got her home. But there's with her arms and she's got this crocheted outfit. But the thing that's interesting is she's marked on the back and it says made in Japan. There's no, there is a logo on here but no name. So I will uh, have to uh, look and see but She's not in very good shape because somebody kept pushing pins in her. So she's got a lot of holes in her now that I take the outfit off. But I've just never seen one. She's very light plastic. So, I mean, if I paid 10 cents for her, I, uh, uh, that's a lot. Because she weighs very little. But again, she's just reminding me of a 1920s doll. So that's why I picked her up. I uh, found a pair of vintage sunglasses. These were made in Taiwan. These are called iGogs. Um, not too many of these listed anywhere. They're pretty dirty. I do have an ultrasonic cleaner that I put these into, and that helps to clean them really well. So I, because they're so dirty, I couldn't really tell if the lenses are scratched because these are the mirror finish. Um, so it looks like they probably are scratched, but once I get them cleaned up, then I'll know for sure. Found this vintage pointer, um, you know, for pointing out teachers or lecturers would use. It's a nice orange tip on it. This is a sorry, N-E-S-O-R, Nessor um, brand. Still in its little case. So that was kind of fun. Find that. Found a Mickey Mouse tie. This is made in the U.S. of A. Um, Mickey Unlimited, it says. I haven't looked it up, but again, it's a Mickey tie, so it's worth something. Oh, I found there is another doll. This little Holly Hobby doll was in a little plastic baggie. She's marked uh, Bang Lim on the bottom. And uh, she's one of those that clips on. She's got the two hands, and you could clip her on like your laptop or your notebook or whatever you want to clip her on. So, she was in the bins today. Found a package of reeds. I know when our daughter was in high school, and uh, she didn't play the saxophone, but she played the flute, so she knew a lot of the saxophone players. And reeds were expensive, so we picked these up to give to some friends of ours whose kids play the saxophone. So, because again, it didn't cost anything. And the package is open. It's, if it's brand new, I could probably sell it, but it's not. Then we found this little package, and it is actually a matchbook holder. You have your matchbooks here, and then the little striker here, and it's all four sides. Um, it's kind of like a little coaster desk thing. I assume it was probably a souvenir, although there's no name on it of what the town is. It looks like a European photo. And but what's interesting, and I won't show it, but inside each drawer is actually uh, return address labels. <laughs> so there you go. Somebody used it instead of for cigarettes. They used it for a return address label. Found a brand new watch in the box. Inexpensive watch made in China, but brand new. So I picked it up. Um, then I also found, Cindy and I, um, these spoons. These are eternally yours by Rogers Brothers. Um, these are serving spoons, fairly large ones. 
they'll polish up really nice, but I just like the design on the end. And these sell for about five to six dollars each. So those are pretty good sellers. Um, and then again, some more miscellaneous pens from from um, Disney World. There's this little child's teddy bear necklace, which I thought was cute. And that was all in, there was a lot of stuff in a little baggie. But one of the nicer things we found was this little figurine. Now I know a lot of these figurines um, are not worth very much. You find them all over the place. Most of them are made in Japan. Um, and But this one was a little different. It is marked on the bottom. It's got a crown with an N. Some of you may know that's the Capa de Monte um, emblem. So, and it's just very well done. It's in great condition. Where is it? Hmm. Interesting. Can't tell if there's dirt or a little break in it, but anyway, just a nice little figurine. Um, so I picked that up, and then last but not least, this thing is creepy to me, but I picked it up because I know a number of you, my viewers, love vintage Christmas. And this is definitely vintage and definitely Christmas and weird. So here he is. <laughs> I don't know what to call him other than the tree man. Because he looks like a tree. He's a got a white head. And he's plastic. Tree limbs. Plastic on his head. Not my not my style of decorating for Christmas, but I'm sure some of you would love him. Um yeah, there's no markings, there's nothing on him as far as any identification if he was you know who would have made him but it's interesting how in the past and again I'm thinking this is probably 30s to 40s um probably more 40s and 30s but just looking at him but interesting so if anybody's interested in him let me know you you can have him I'll send him to you Anyway, so we did pick up, up some more stuff for the backpacks for the homeless. We pick up blankets and mittens and stuff like that. Their bins were full of a lot of stuff like that. So we um, picked up some more of those things, which I'm not going to show you. Picked up some more, um, like I say, shipping supplies, bubble wrap, and stuff like that. So that's what we got today. A fine, eclectic mix all over the place. But uh, hopefully we can sell most of it and make some money. But thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye.